Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf and Modern Media. Today we're talking about visual aid golf balls. Do they work? How do we like them? And where do we, really, how do we rank them? So I played five of the best uh, visual aid golf balls in the last really six months to really get a better idea of do they help putting? Are they better on driving? And all those things. So let's start with let's start with this guy the tailor-made tour response this is with the neon green they call this the stripe so let's talk about driving first how did it perform so I normally play a mid ball flight my ball flight is not high it's very rare for me to hit something high First swing when I started playing this was how high the ball went. Um, and not as far, but just really up in the air. Almost to a point where I thought I had to adjust my driver while we were playing. So if I had to score these um, out of 10 for driving, I would say this one is going to be probably an 8 out of 10. Not really long, um, super high not the distance I was used to. So definitely a little shorter uh, than I anticipated. Now we'll get into irons and short game. I thought this, this ball would be incredible um, off irons and short games. And, and again, for a $43 plus golf ball, I was really disappointed in, in the tour response. Um, had no bite, very little bite on wedges. Um, Balls that, if I played another brand, would have for sure stopped. This ball didn't. And I played this on both soft and harder greens, and it just was not responsive. So on short game and iron, I would say 7 out of 10. Disappointing for a $40 plus golf ball. Now, let's get into putting. And this is probably where this guy earns its merit, let's say. How does this stripe do? What are the thoughts? So for putting and alignment, it was great, a 10 out of 10. Um, really, really perfect to line it up, putt it. You could see it spin. Overall, for a $43 ball, I was disappointed in the TaylorMade Tour Response Stripe. Just not great. A couple of complaints that I've heard that I will somewhat agree with with this golf ball, just to kind of let you guys know where this is at. The green isn't super easy to see in the grass, and I know... It's, it looks neon green, and it is kind of a neon yellow and green, like a highlighter, highlighter yellow. It almost blends in with the grass, um, so it's kind of odd. I did play an orange and the red one. Um, those are much easier to see. So I would say if you're going to buy this or try this, try a different color, um, not the yellow. The other thing, too, I will say that I was really disappointed in um, was the, the yellow finish wears off quick. And I mean, like three four shots i think i was on hole two or three last week when we played and i used this ball for the front nine and i was showing the guys like it almost gets it's not where you hit a wedge and it gets scuffed and it's off it's literally like it's you, you took an eraser to it and, it and it rubs off so i am a big tailor-made fan uh and certainly their golf balls but the tour response not ideal for me the overall score for tour response was 25 out of 30. so again not the best ball. Next one up is the Callaway Chrome Soft XLS. This happens to be what I call my Leprechaun version, but the Clover version. So let's get into kind of how this ball performed on the same, really the same three categories. So driver, um, love this ball, nine out of 10. Very good distance. Low, this is LS, so it's a low spin version. Um, really, really like this ball. Not as far as the farthest or furthest balls I've played, um, but it's up there. Really, 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 really good golf ball. Uh, visually, uh, fairway, uh, rough, uh, floating in the water, <laughs> certainly um, an easier ball to find as well. So I think this one is actually easier than uh, the TaylorMade uh, for visual finding it. And I didn't have any issues with uh, it falling off at all. Let me put that one down. So really had no issues with the Callaway. Um, irons, 
and short game, again, this ball really performed well. Uh, kind of surprised me. I, I'm not, I've been a huge Callaway ball guy. Um, but 9 out of 10, really checked up on greens good. Um, really off of irons, had a nice kind of mid, not a super high ball flight like the Taurus Bonds, but a really, really nice overall. Uh, putting and alignment. This is where I think this one, I won't say fails, um, but there really is no alignment. Um, this one doesn't do you a ton of good. Um, for alignment. So again, probably the lowest score we put out an 8 out of 10. Feels great. Um, this Just the alignment uh, wasn't great. So next one up, we're going to go Srixon. Srixon Q-Star Divide. Um, obviously, I think the brightest golf ball uh, there is. Super easy to find in the fairways. But let's get into the same three categories. So driver, not as long, um, pretty straight for uh, at least my swing speed, uh, 95 to 105 miles an hour in that world. Um, really nice ball flight. Again, a mid flight, which I'm used to, not high like the tour response was, which I think I was losing um, distance on. But definitely not as far. Um, so I give that one 8 out of 10. Irons and wedges, again, this is a $30, $35 golf ball. I don't expect it to be as great as the others. Um, 8 out of 10. Had a nice flight. Checked up a bit. Um, the one thing I think what's crazy about the divide ball, when you hit it, you almost see it flutter. Uh, it's very weird to see. Like some of these, but that one with the divide, you really see it kind of fluttering, which is kind of a neat. Uh, putting and alignment, it's a 10 out of 10. It's just a great golf ball to line up kind of use those two colors coming together as um, kind of an aiming line versus a line on it. I really, really liked it. A 10 out of 10. They did a phenomenal job. That ball was so good, it made me really think, do I play the nicer version next uh, and try that in the divide version as well? It really did well. And for bang for your buck, the Strix on uh, is the best of, of all five of these. Um, 30. At one point, they were uh, buy two dozen, get one free. So you're basically spending $23 for a box. A phenomenal value. Um, Strixon, bring that back um, because I like to get, uh, now that I've done this, I like to go back and get more. Although I don't go through a ton of balls, but I really, really like the Strixon. So overall scores 28 out of 30. Um, you know, really liked it. The only, I'd say the only thing I thought it was a 10 out of 10, a 9 out of 10 for putting. Uh, it's just not a really soft golf ball. It's, it's soft, but not the softest. So, but overall, really good golf ball. Next one up, the Callaway Chrome Soft Triple Track LS. Plays exactly like uh, the other Chrome ball that I played. Uh, the only difference is the triple track. I'll go through the scores real quick. The only difference is, um, obviously, has the triple track going on. So driver, again, 9 out of 10, long and straight. Really had no issues with that golf ball whatsoever off uh, the driver. Irons and short came again, 9 out of 10. Really, really, really um, good golf ball for me. Checked up, played well. Um, a little scuffy. I was surprised. That ball scuffed a lot more than I would have thought, um, and more than the clover. And it's the same ball, so I don't... Maybe I was just having a good day with my wedges, not sure. And putting for that one is a 10 out of 10. The triple track is a great tool for putting. Obviously, you line it up, um, you putt it, and it, go, and it goes. It's just a great idea. Uh, Callaway's put in uh, their golf balls. I'd say the one thing I'm surprised at, and I have one more ball to go, is that Titleist doesn't have one. Um, Bridgestone doesn't have that type of mechanism yet. I'm sure there's other balls I'm missing that don't have some type of putting alignment help. Um, but So last ball up. TaylorMade TP5X picks. Um, and so I've had incredible rounds with this golf ball. Um, I've had a hole-in-one with this ball. I've had multiple chip-ins. I've had some of the lowest rounds of my entire life at 48 years old with this golf ball. So this one holds kind of a special place in my heart. Um, I don't play it all the time because I'm testing everything, but I, I love uh, the TP5 and the TP5X. That being said, let's get into the scores. Driving is a 10 out of 10. If you've played a TP5 or TP5X, you know this ball is a monster. It competes with the best of the best golf balls out there. Um, really, really, really uh, have enjoyed playing this golf ball. And if I had to pick one ball to play for the rest of my life, this may be it. I love 
the TaylorMade TP5 and TP5X. Um, I particularly play the X more than the, than the non-X, um, just because I, I like to knock down the spin a little bit, um, but overall really, really like uh, the ball. So off irons and wedges, um, again, I'd give this one a 10 out of 10. I have had hole-in-ones, I've had chip-ins. Uh, my hole-in-one last year with this hit, 10 feet past the hole and eight iron it was 160 yards. And this is not, I'm not bragging, just telling you how the playability of this ball is. Hit past the hole um, and zipped it back uh, with an eight iron from 160 something uh, into the hole. Just a ridiculously good golf ball. Uh, the alignment. <sighs> this is where I want to say, and you can see if you've never looked, this is where they expect you. See these little orange lines here? This is where they kind of want you to visualize that line for putting. I don't love it. Um, and I give this an 8 out of 10. Do I give it an 8 out of 10? Yeah, an 8 out of 10. Um, because it's not perfect. Uh, I, I wish Taylor May would kind of rethink this, maybe put them a little closer together, make it a true defined line. Um, but overall, I love uh, the TP5X ball. Um, you know, for it saddens me because they were doing a really, really cool thing with all the limited edition ones, like the Halloween ones, the, and they seem to have kind of gotten rid of that this year. I, I don't know what's happened, um, but, but I love the TP5, uh, and the, again, this is the TP5X. I think it's as good as any ball out in the marketplace. Obviously, you're paying for it. Uh, the only thing, I, like I said, I'd love to see with this is the alignment be a little different. And again, I know their mechanism is saying, you know, you got to roll it like this. Mm. So, so overall, so overall, really, I scored the TaylorMade TP5 and the Callaway basically the same score. But if you ask me what would I rather play, I'd probably play this, but I've played this a lot too and like them both. And to be honest with you, the bang for the buck is the Srixon. Now, the only one, I, again, I didn't love, and I'll continue to play it and maybe things will change, uh, is the Tor uh, response, uh, this one. Uh, it just did not, super high ball flight, um, did not check up again like we thought it would, but not a bad ball. Check it out. Check them all out. I think Strixon's the best value for all of them. Uh, I think any Callaway uh, or the TaylorMade TP5 or TP5X picks uh, will perform the best. But I think for putting, this and the divide are the best. So long story short, how do, what's the best one? There's a number of them that are good, really depending on your game. But it was a fun test. It was kind of fun to go through the process. But bang for your buck, the value is Srixon. I think scoring-wise for me, this one, um, and I don't know why. Maybe it's in here. This one I always play better with this or the triple track. I don't know why. It just seems like it's a better ball for me. Um, and again, I'm shocked that Bridgestone, Titleist, Vice uh, don't have this technology. Even Wilson, my guys are Wilson that I love. The duo is one of my favorite golf balls, doesn't have an alignment thing yet. Um, so hopefully we'll see it from all these guys. But again, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this will also obviously be on YouTube, but check out our website, Modern, M-O-D-R-N, Golf, uh, for all reviews, courses, equipment, interviews, all kinds of good stuff. And guys, we will see you next time. Thanks, guys.